All right, welcome back. It's uh, late June 62, um, and we'll start off things here in uh, Virginia, where I'm basically disbanding the Army of uh, Northern, I'm sorry, the Army of the Potomac. Um, as you can see here, there is this disband unit button, so basically I'm disbanding all the units, I'm going to try to sneak uh, the generals out. In addition to that, I'm going to move two corps, one from Harrisburg and then one over from um, uh, Carroll, Maryland, uh, back into um, Frederick, uh, Maryland here, and we'll try to take it back. And we'll see if we're able to, to do that. Uh, Grant will attempt to move on uh, Fort Pillow. I don't feel like General Pope has enough forces to actually defeat Forrest. Actually, Forrest actually has more men, although a lot of it are uh, on horse. Um, so I'm sending another um, another division um, over, um, and uh, in addition, uh, some support um, support units here. Um, General Lyon will hold um, will move into and, and take up a position in uh, Jefferson City. Um, here's how it looks in Mobile, Alabama, and um, Nothing going on in Montgomery. It would be interesting to see. Um, actually, we do have a we do have some free troops here, so I think the smart thing to do is probably to um, we're going to move them out. Actually, yeah. Let me uh, let me turn down the the background noise. Sorry, no way. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move um, these forces out and try to get them to try to take over some of the railroad, um, some of the railroad uh, of these uh, of these areas, and that leaves. Um, a division holding, um, a division holding uh, Pensacola. Um, we have kind of set up a, a, a bit more of a proper structure here since Grant hasn't been able to form an army yet. So we have uh, Rosecrans here. Grant has a core. Um, I'm sending um, General Buell here to Missouri, and then he'll take over the Missouri command um, away from. Uh, General Fremont. General Butler holds Fort Monroe. Of course, General McDowell, who's just been getting hammered, um, is up here in Virginia. Um, and then I think we have Banks recruiting men in... Um, yeah, we have Banks recruiting men uh, here in Philadelphia. All right, let's uh, run the turn and see what happens. Okay, pretty interesting turn. You'll see that we've had a big, big, big um, drop in morale. We lost two from the objectives. That's mobile. I'll show you that in a second. One from the battle and then ten from options uh, and events. I think the ten was lost because we did not threaten um, Richmond. So our national morale is down to 74. Um, let's start off up here. It looks like most of the forces um, actually did not... Um, I, had, I had set them to disband, but uh, they actually... Uh, they actually didn't, um, and so uh, they're kind of here in no man's land, um, where the CSA controls the railroad, uh, which we can't use, um, so we can't. We're basically unable to escape. Although they didn't disband, which is interesting. We did um, move in and um, take back Frederick, um, which is there. Uh, General Grant moved in and took um, uh, took um, Fort Pillow, and so he can now actually be promoted, which is good. Uh, as you can see, actually Fort Pillow was can is now can now be destroyed. Uh, okay, so a couple couple Union, couple of Confederate forces there. Um, what happened in Mobile, Alabama, was pretty interesting. Um, they and this is where, yeah, so basically, um, 
war guard came in with a large um, a large force. Uh, General Wallace um, didn't really fight a whole lot. Uh, he was on hold at all costs, but he did decide to retreat. And of course, since he has um, field artillery, he's unable to to retreat quickly. So you know he'll never be able to cross the river. So we actually have now have no control um, here in um, Mobile, uh, Alabama. Um, there was one battle with kind of the Spark forces. Um, and uh, here's where General Grant destroyed Fort Pillow and Tobiarison. And then here was the battle in Mobile, Alabama, um, um, which, as you can see, really pretty, you know, not, not huge casualties at all. Um, and, um, you know, he was outnumbered by a little more than two to one, uh, but considering, um, you know, considering some marsh, but it's surprising that, um, that he retreated so, uh, so easily. So, um, I'm not, I'll have to think about the best way to actually get him out of here now, maybe retreat to Jackson. And then, you know, on the Fort Gaines, possibly, or that would be, that would be one option. There aren't a lot of, um, there are not a lot of uh, great options, uh, that is for sure. I wonder if Polk participated in the battle. Let's see. Hardy, Price, Johnson, Jones, of course, War Guard. No, Polk didn't, um, did not come over and, uh, uh, participate. Um, Confederate morale's at 141. I'm not sure what their win their win is. It might be 200 as well, which is really just pretty hard, pretty hard to get to. Um, okay, I'm going to see. Yep, so we lost 10 over. Um, We lost 10 over not threatening enrichment. We can, we can lose another 10 um, uh, as well. Um, so a whole bunch of new generals, some good ones too. So that is a, at least that is a, that is one plus. Um, okay, all right. Um, as you can go tell, things are not going great. But see you next time.